Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today we are going to move on on our Instagram clone app. We are going to take care of the logout function. So logout is obviously important, but because we are using Redux, it is a bit more complicated. However, it, will, it should be a really fast lesson, uh, so there's not a lot to worry about, so let's jump right into it. Before carrying on with the video, I just want to let you know that only around 20% of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel, so if you don't want to miss any single video in the future, be sure to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. Okay, so uh, coming into our project, the first thing that we're going to do is to jump into a profile and in here I'm going to zoom out and go a bit below to uh, this part. This is where we have our follow and unfollow button. So in here, instead of uh, returning null in case uh, the UID that we are trying to view equals to the current logged in user, we are going to display the logout button there. I'm doing this because uh, we are not going to have any settings or something like that. So I just want to keep it as simple as possible. So in this case, we don't need a view. All that we need is a button. So I'm going to come in here and simply paste the button that we have up top for the follow in here. So indent that. Now, instead of follow, it will be logout log out or sign out whenever you want and in here we say on logouts okay so uh, whenever uh, the user presses this button this function will get called however this function doesn't exist yet so let's go a bit uh, up top and just below uh, const on follow on unfollow better yet we are going to create this function which will take care of logging out the user and you'll see how easy it is so in this case i say const on logouts equals to open parenthesis, open arrow function. And in here, uh, we just have to call one line uh, in order to log out the user, which is firebase.auth.sign out. And by calling this, the user will be automatically logged out and the session token will be destroyed. And that's it. Uh, when the user signs out, uh, then uh, it, it, the user will be automatically routed to the landing page. And that's because in the app.js, as you might remember, and let's make this bigger, uh, we have the on-off state change. And whenever this changes, then the login state change. And when that happens, the navigation container is uh, changed into the um, off uh, container uh, instead of the main container that we have in here. This is uh, what appears to the logged in user. This is what appears to the not logged in user. So this will be automatically changed. And because the initial route name is landing, then the screen named landing will appear. So that's it. Uh, now, if I jump into my uh, profile here, the logout button will appear. And if I hit it, it will be automatically uh, routed to the landing page. So there we go. Now, all that's left is to clear the Redux data. So let's go into actions.js, go up top and create a new function. In this case, it will be uh, called exports function clear data. This uh, function will be responsible for deleting everything from the Redux store so that we can clear um, all of the previous user's information. So open a function and in here say return two parentheses dispatch open arrow function and in here, we are going to dispatch into a new intent type, which we'll create in a second. Uh, but for now, we will uh, just call it and then create it in a constant uh, file. In this case, it will be called clear data, and it will be triggered in both the user and the user's file. So it will be triggered in every single reducer that we have. So I'm going to add it in the constants up top, and I'm going to go into constants index, and add uh, this variable there. So I'm going to change the name 
change uh, the variables uh, data and there we go now we have the constants updated we are he, we have our index.js which uh, is doing what it should be now everything is on the side of the reducers so let's go into user.js for example and in here we are going to once again add clear data to the constants up top that's that's a comment not a, a dot and we are going to add yet another case which will be case clear data and in here it will return uh, a clear uh, and completely uh, reset uh, initial state so we are going to basically return the initial state once again encoder from the future here so in here you could just uh, return the variable instead of uh, the contents of initial state so just return initial state and it should be done now back to the video and this way it will clear the state of uh, this reducer and uh, make sure that everything is uh, reset and put to zero or no Okay, so the posts will be empty, the following will be empty, and the current user will be null. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing for the users.js. So I'm going to grab the clear data, but now instead of um, that uh, object, we are going to clear this up. The users and the users loaded. Okay, don't uh, forget to add the clear data up top. And there we go. Now, this uh, function will be called where? Well, we are going to call it in the main.js, just like we did here. So we are going to clear, uh, call clear data above fetch user. So we are going to add the function in here, clear data. We are going to go down below and add it to bind action creators, like that. There we go. Now we are going to come in here and say this.props.queerData. And there we go. And now it should be working. Let's give it a quick, quick test and see if everything checks out. So here we are and we are going to come into my uh, profile page. I've logged in again and let's log out. So everything seems to have gone fine. Let's go uh, in here and log in with another account. So test two, test 12, let's see if this exists. Okay, it exists. And there we go. Everything uh, is working as it should be. A different, uh, following, a different following list, user list appears. So now we have the other accounts and uh, these accounts. So everything is working as it should be, and we are now able to log out from our accounts. Okay, so that's all. Uh, the app is working as it should be. We are finally able to log out the user and log in with any other account, which is useful for the development process. So in the next lesson, I'm still not sure what we are going to do. Right now, we'll just do uh, quite easy things that are left to do, quite small things. So we are almost done. So yeah, it shouldn't take all that long in order to get this app ready. So uh, let's do it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please do, uh, do leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. And yeah, that's all. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.